Welcome to this demonstration on how to add in capping and then adding in our fascias on top of that to get a, a bulkhead on top of our, our cornices. First thing that we need to do is we need to add in our capping. So we go call auto features. We choose the cornice that we we wanting to use and then we add it, add that in. And there you'll notice our, our capping moves on and now we'll need to to add in our our shelf and then we can add in the fascia on top of that. Okay, let's go into and get our shelf. What we do is we type in shelf in our catalog. Shelf. We get the shelf and then we need to go to our, our plan view. So we can add in the, add in this piece of sh the shelving here. Use our freehand tool and we get our hearts right and we we add this in okay go to the front of it and we finish off the box from here we need to add in a, a go into elevation and, and lift it up to the heart that we we need it Okay, once we have our, our shelf at the, the right height, we can add in our, our fascia just on top of that. So we go to our information button, just so that we can specify that we just want a cornice on this on this shelf. So we untick that it should ignore auto features, and we tick on fascias. Then we go to call, auto features, choose the fascia that we, that we want. and we say include selection so it will just choose this red the the shelf that's on top of the corners from there we press OK and you'll notice it will add in a a fascia for us and so we've got a cornice, a shelf and then a fascia on top of that so this makes it a small bulkhead for us and here you can see the the finishing finished bulkhead that we've just created we you can see the cornices that just sticks out the shelves on top there and then we've we've added the cornices so it m makes it finishes off the cupboard quite nicely and this ends our presentation on on creating capping with with fascias thanks very much